The news recently that uh, BHP Billiton has succeeded in acquiring a 6% stake in Solgold uh, brings to a head uh, a duel between the two companies that's lasted a couple of years. John Mayer joins us now from SP Angel. I say a duel, it's a bit of an exaggeration. I know that BHP had previously been interested in Solgold, but I think that I'm right in saying that they've been rebuffed at the last stages. BHP made a, a, a big offer to get involved with the Cascabel project in Ecuador to Solgold about two years ago. And at the time, they were pipped to the post by Newcrest, who had cash on the table, wanted to fund the drilling program, and, and were happy to, to agree to the conditions applied by Solgold. Solgold wanted to, to ensure that they were still open for, a, for a, a takeover offer and free to negotiate with other people. So BHP had come in with a much bigger offer, but presumably there were some strings attached to that. And so, so Solgold knocked it back, quite rightly, wanting to remain perhaps more independent. Mm -hmm. Now, and, and then, of course, comes this deal recently where we see BHP moving in on a stake that was previously held by uh, Guiana Goldfields. Well, that's right. The, the, the geological team at BHP have clearly been keeping a close eye on this and, and monitoring what, what's going on with the drilling. This is a very large-scale project that's being, being drilled out at the moment. It's, you know, a junior company can't manage this forever. It's got to go into a, a major uh, stable if, if, if it does. Um, and BHP are the right people for that. And so BHP have, have made what I see as a hostile move, buying the stake directly from another mining company, uh, not going to, to Sol Gold, where they might be rebuffed again, uh, and saying, we want a piece of the action. And for me, I don't see BHP stopping at 6.1%. I see them wanting to build this into either a, a near controlling stake or a controlling stake going forward. So perhaps their next conversation is to go to, go to Sol Gold and say, we'd like to fund the next 20, 30 million dollars of, of drilling here, or perhaps to, to move on the whole company. Mm. Uh, let's bring up the share price. Um, this is where we are for Sol Gold. This uptick, uh, you can see on this daily chart most recently, up to just over 25 pence a share. The BHP uh, chief executive said the investment in Sol Gold will give BHP exposure to a high quality copper exploration project in Ecuador, which is highly prospective location for BHP. Bearing in mind this share price uh, chart that we've got here, do you see more upside then to come, especially if, I guess, if you're talking about some sort of hostile move? On, on the company. Yes, I, I mean, it gives us a great deal of confidence because it's a huge project. It's being new drill results coming out from this all the time. They seem to have discovered a, a, a higher grade zone. I mean, it's, it's a multi-billion dollar project. You can't get into this for less than three or four billion dollars. So it's got to be BHP, Rio Tinto, Vale, Anglo-American, one of those majors. But for me, there's a lot more value in Sol Gold within the rest of the portfolio. They picked up a lot of other licenses in Ecuador. It's very prospective. Ooh, Copper. It's all looking for copper. I mean, right. it's copper and gold, so you could easily find something that's more gold than copper. But really, I think one's looking for, for more copper than gold because that's the region you're in. And, and, and if you follow the Andean mountain range up from Chile through Brazil and, and Colombia, you get into Ecuador, and, and there's got to be more of these giant scale, world class copper deposits to, to be found in this region. And, and it looks really good. And I think Solgold have a geological team that, that know how to find this stuff. Yeah. OK. All right. Exciting times for Solgold. John, thanks so much indeed for joining us. John Mayer uh, from SP Angel.